Hello everybody, I just ran down to uh, see the filthy man. But I don't think it's the shards of Dragonstone that we want, I think it's the chunks that we don't have enough of, so I don't think we can even, uh... I don't think we can even use that stuff. <laughs> Come back. So, uh, yeah. That, that, uh, that plan didn't work out like I wanted it to, but... It's no biggie. Just return the Nexus, and, uh, let's go on ahead. And... Uh, go to the Valley of Defilement, yes. Because everybody loves the Valley of Defilement. It's the best place in the game. Everybody knows that. So, uh, some of you may have been noticing, I've been trying to avoid all of the last levels of the game. Before we go into the Valley of Defilement, uh, I should also level up, but I'm kind of biding my time here. <laughs> Anyways, um... Archstone, the small king, we've gone as many levels as we can go before killing an archdemon. Uh, Flame Lurker Archstone, that's right before the final boss. Tower of Latria, you know what happened there. We'll come back to that. Uh, Old Hero Archstone, right before the final boss. And I'm planning to go all the way from 5-1 to 5-2. Basically, the order in which I've been going is I've been going, you know as far as I can go before the final boss of each world so that maybe you know in the next or in the last few episodes we can just kind of bunch them all up and then we can finish off the Baltarian Palace which I always like to consider you know uh, 1 3 and 1 4 I like to consider to be kind of the final areas of the game because they're two of the tougher areas with two of the cooler bosses in the entire game although um I might save Maiden Astrea until after 1-3, just because that is sort of a penult penultimate boss fight. It's a really, probably my second favorite boss fight in the game, next to, uh, 1-4. Anyways. Thou seeketh soul power, dost thou not? Then touch the demon inside me. But yeah, I mean, it's been mentioned before, Maiden Astrea turned into a demon. We get to see all of the people that were so mentioned to have been, uh, to taken over by demons. Old so King Alant, um, or not Old King Alant, just King Alant. Um, so you get the idea, it. anyways. Um, so let's go ahead with intelligence. There we go, spell capacity increased. Um, I think we can level up another two times. Um... Dexterity and strength. Yeah, why not? Let's upgrade these two. Because we haven't been able to wield very much throughout the game. Okay. I've heard it all before. I actually ran into uh, Ostrava up there by accident before I was falling off, and apparently I, uh... As I was falling off, I brushed him and he fell off too, and he got all ticked off at me. Luckily, he didn't, you know, try and stab me yet, but... He wasn't happy. Um, the preparation for the Valley of Defilement, I believe, is more along the lines of a full ar uh, full suit of uh, the black armor. So, like, you know, wearing the, the uh, thief's bandana or whatever it's called. The, the face mask. Um, just all the black armor, basically. Because I think that stuff has poison resistance. Um, the only thing, though, is that I don't think... Uh, it's it it matters that much in the first place if only because um, the only place where it matters most which is uh, five two uh, it 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 doesn't really defend against these large pools of poison that you'll be dealing with in that area anyways these are depraved ones they are these big nosed um, skull helmet I think they were skull helmets or something. I don't know, I can't get a close look at them. Either way, they have very large noses. They're very unpleasant looking. Uh, very sickly. They're, they're pretty much the draglings for this area, but even more sickly looking and malnourished. So, yeah. But, uh, beware of these guys with the spears. They're bad news. Very much so. There we go. I should try that more often when they're about to attack me. Just push them out of the way. Give him what for. 
Anyways, I think there's a rock fall coming up here. Yep. Uh, so what was I talking about before? Yeah, the armor. Basically, armor... I've never cared much about armor in this game. It's become much more of a cosmetic thing for me than anything else, you know. I just wear the kind of armor that I think looks cool on my character, and that's... That's the extent of how much it matters to me. But anyways, we are wearing a good deal of the, the uh, black armor set, so that should help us out a little bit. Anyways. Um, so you have all of defilement. Lots of poison, lots of plague, that kind of thing. Just, It's a very unpleasant place to be in overall. Um, there's a few different ways we can take this area. Uh, the primary way is to walk across this bridge. I'm gonna take a bit of a weird way here, I think. If I can reach it, I think I think I can. But, um, yeah. If we just climb back up here and then go along the side this way, you will notice uh, there's actually this platform down here that we can drop to. From there, we can grab the Morning Star, which is a blunt weapon. This guy drops down with us. And we kill him. And we don't quite kill him. I tried to smack him again to make sure he was dead and uh, it didn't register, so it was a little bit weird. Uh, Alright, now we drop down this way. And just push this over. We've made a small makeshift bridge. Oh boy. Okay, I don't want to fall off quite yet. That guy just smacked himself off the cliff. Awesome. Here we have another Talisman of God and a Widow's Lotus. I think we can give Talismans of God to uh, Sparkly the Crow. And uh, she'll, she'll... I think it's a she. I think she'll actually give us a colorless demon soul. Don't quote me on that one, but I think that's what she gives us. And that's a very nice uh, item to have. Or a very nice soul to have as far as upgrading some stuff goes. Um, and also, uh, getting a certain spell, which I don't think we can actually get that spell. I haven't even gotten that spell on my main file. Ow. But yes, we're just sort of slowly progressing downwards. You gotta take your time with this level. Well, that's true of every level in the game, but particularly here, because a lot of enemies like to do this fake-out thing where they pretend to be dead, and then they get up later on and uh, fake you out, stab you in the back, all that good stuff. So yeah, in, in general, you just always want to be... Uh, see, like that guy right there, I couldn't move, so I, I finally realized that guy was kind of in my way. He was trying to get up after faking being dead. But yeah, just a lot of sneaky guys down here. Um, unfriendly types is what they are. Uh, there's some stuff up there. Let's go back upstairs because, um, oops, almost went the wrong way. Uh, there, there's just some stuff we can get if we go back up. Uh, we can take a slightly more, uh, risky way. Involves a little bit of platforming, you know, falling off the ledges. The normal, normal Demon Souls platforming type stuff, but... Uh, we can get some nice things out of it, so... It's, it's not all bad. It's over here. Oh! I guess this is a safe way. I actually found that you could, uh, drop off the ledge as long as you were very careful with, uh... You know, how you placed each step that you took, but... That works, too. Um... I think this falls. Does it fall? No, I'm thinking of a, uh, level below us. Okay be this one. I don't know. Oh well. Okay. So yeah, I, I think a lot of the reason people don't like this area, and myself included here, I don't like this place much either, is just that it's very dull and dank and depressing and in general the enemies just Everything about this place is just so creepy, you know, just very kind of sad, but at the same time just like very oppressive, you know, the just the atmosphere of the whole place is very dark and foreboding, it's made out of wood, the whole place is falling apart, just, it's not a place you'd like to uh, be taking a vacation at. <laughs> 
I guess that's the best way to put it. Um, you know what? Why? We should put back on the regenerator's ring, just that I don't have to waste more, uh, more full moon grasses than I have to. Um, see, there's a lot of flame guys down there. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna see if I can pick these guys off. It might actually be better with the bow. I'm gonna use the bow. Let's see how many guys I can take out that way. Luckily, they can, uh, follow us up here. They can't climb ladders. It's their loss. Um, okay, and now I can't get around that way. Let's see, ranged weapons aren't the most common, uh, way to deal with problems, but they're always there, and they can definitely be good ways just to, uh, pick off your enemies if you don't want to deal with them head on. Especially when there's a big crowd down there like that. So that just, that's sort of assisted us not having to deal with everybody at once. Instead, we just have to deal with that one guy, and that is a heck of a lot better, I can tell you now. Oops, didn't want to climb that ladder. Um, right over here we have sort of this diving board. <laughs> uh, leads down to a nest. You may think you'll die from that fall, but I guess the nest cushions your fall. And, uh, it is not a lethal fall, so you can... You can put your mind at ease regarding that. Royal Lotus. Uh, the Lotuses, I think it's the Royal Lotuses, but I could be wrong, because there's a few different kinds of Lotuses. Uh, one of the Lotus types are very good for, um... Very good for, uh... For level 5, too, because... Uh, you're going to get poison a lot in that level, and I think the Royal Petals are the kind that, uh, actually... Uh, disinfect poison, or get rid of poison effects on your character, so... Yeah, you want to carry a lot of your, uh, royal lotuses with you when you go to 5-2. It, it's pretty much the best strategy to go through that area. If you don't use that strategy, you're, uh, not gonna be in the best shape. See, the nasty thing... These are blood ticks. Uh, but the nasty thing about these guys who push you is that they tend to be strategically placed in the worst places to be pushed. So, say that guy, if I got hit by his whole push attack, I would have been pretty much shoved right off the edge here. And, uh, that's, that's a pretty cheap tactic that they can, uh, exploit to just sort of kill you quickly, kill you easily. This game isn't against cheating to kill you. Or not cheating. It's not cheating, but it's, it's, you know, dirty tactics. It's, the game isn't afraid to play dirty to, uh, rack another kill onto your score. We got the Saint's outfit. That's, uh, what Saint Urbane wears, of course. And it's a pretty nice looking set of armor. I'll put it on just a sec here once we're out of this dangerous place up here. Somebody's breathing heavy. Um, but anyways, these blood tick type things, I can't remember their exact names, but they are ticks of a sort. And, uh, that huge explosion of blood when you stab them, um, that can actually, I, I think that plagues you. Either plagues you or poisons you. Either way, you don't want to get hit by that. I've very rarely been hit by it, maybe because I hit it with stabbing attacks, you know, so I have a little bit of extra l range, I can avoid it a little bit more, but just don't be really close when you're doing that, because there's a chance of you being poisoned. Anyways, this is a filthy woman. Won't you buy something? My poor child is hungry. Yes, so, filthy woman, filthy man, any relation, the world may never know. You don't deserve to die, so let me give you some advice. This place is buzzing with pests, fattened on a diet of souls. In order to protect yourself, you must keep a lotus with you. Yep. The price of survival can never be too high, can it? Pretty much the all-around advice for this whole place. Or, not this whole place, but a lot of it. Because there's very many opportunities for you to be poisoned or plagued, so... Always carry some lotuses around with you. How many years has it been? That witch Astraya came to this valley with that squid-headed knight. Squid! Those ridiculous white robes of hers. I swear I caught her glaring at my son in disgust. 
Yes, yes, it's true. She is as nasty as they come. And she's a demon to boot. Doesn't surprise me. I don't know if this lady's just spreading rumors or if that's how Maiden Astray really is, but you'll see when we come to her. I like how this woman describes uh, Garl Vinland's helmet, squid-headed knight, because it, it does kind of look that way. I love that description. In order to protect yourself, you must keep a lotus with you. The price of... Yes, yes, you've told me. Alright, so uh, the thing about this lady, you may think she's not very... Uh, you know, she doesn't seem very significant at the time, but uh, she actually carries, not in this level, but in the next level, she carries uh, the most expensive set of armor in the game, and some of the best armor in the game. Not the absolute best, but as far as starting armor type armor goes, it's some of the best as far as like heavy armor stuff, that sort of thing. But right now she just sells chainmail stuff. She also has hard leather boots, which are my favorite uh, pant type item. She sells rotten arrows. I think those poison your enemies. Uh, she got a war pick, halberd, talisman of god, all this good stuff. And then she sells black turpentine, which is like turpentine on steroids. So now you know. Curses! I wasted my breath on you. Did that witch send you to torment me? See, so yeah, it just seems like a very unfriendly woman. She's she was saying we don't deserve to die as long as we buy her stuff, you know? Gotta buy her stuff. But either way. Alright, let's test out some of that uh Saints robe armor. It's actually a lot better than most of the stuff we have, uh except for as far as fire defense goes. Uh yeah. Alright, the hard leather boots are a little bit better than the Saints stuff, but basically it makes you look like a very baggy man. You have baggy pants. I take off the uh, robe. You see, pretty baggy pants. Always like the baggy pants in this game. Um, yeah, overall, um, it's not a bad armor set. I kind of like it. Um, let's see what else. I think we'll just switch it back for now, because how much does armor matter, you know? But. Regardless, that's there. You've seen it. Uh, also, this is the only place in the game where these enemies appear. They are rats, and uh, this is your time to pick off rats in a small hold-up room. These rats have a very good chance of plaguing you, and uh, there are actually some coming up right now. You want to be careful that you don't let any of them sneak up on you like that. Because if they get you, uh, they can plague you very easily, and if you get plagued, it's like poison to the worst extent of poison. So yeah, just don't get bitten by them, is the point I'm trying to make. I think in Dark Souls there are going to be like giant, giant rats, because these rats are pretty big in the first place, but uh, in Dark Souls they're like these giant mutant rats, they look really nasty. They are not going to be fun to, uh, to deal with. But, um, yeah, the rats in this game, that's the only place they appear. That's one of the better strategies, unless you want to use, like, uh, Rage of God or whatever. Or God's Fear. I forget what it's called. I haven't used... I never really used that spell. Most people use, a uh, Firestorm. I think it does a little bit more damage, although it, it is a little bit slower and a little bit more random. Or no, I don't know if it's slower, but it's definitely a lot more random, and uh, there's a chance of your enemy uh, countering you before the Firestorm can hit them, although it's a very big gamble on both sides. Either way, um, yeah. Whoa. Hello. I thought that was maybe like some in the background, some guy hanging, which I'd never noticed before. It's just somebody in a, uh, doing some ragdolling through the wood. Take care of those guys as quickly as you can. They just sort of pop up with their ragdoll physics. Grab Stone of Ephemeral Eyes. Um, so yeah, that diving board thing. That's what you do with that. Those two guys come out to surprise you. You just gotta hold your ground, try not to get overwhelmed, and uh, do what you can. Do what you can, man. Ow, ow. 
Yeah, as you can see, it does that barely does enough damage to even be significant right now, but on New Game Plus, that can take out like half your life bar. Even guys like uh, these dudes can be a bit a huge threat to you, so never underestimate your foe, especially in Demon Souls. You never know when they might push you off a cliff. And believe me, they will push you off a cliff. There we go. I think the nice thing about using the Dragon Longsword on these guys, and just on everybody in general, is that it, um... I, I think most of the enemies in this game are weak to flame damage. Obviously, because that's, you know, how you would, uh... best exterminate germs, that kind of thing. For, uh, just sort of gets rid of microscopic life. All those little dirty forsaken things that are probably thriving in the, an area like this. Fire is the best way to get rid of it, so yeah. The Dragon Longsword is definitely your optimal choice for this area. Uh, right here, we have a giant variety of, um, I think, forsaken ones. I think that's what we've been calling them. Forsaken ones we've been fighting through the depraved one, that's what I meant. Not forsaken. They're not forsaken, they're just depraved. They're mostly forsaken. Not quite forsaken. But that name doesn't have as much of a punch. So they went with depraved. They're pretty depraved. Definitely depraved. Anyways. Um this isn't a good situation for me at all. Uh, I'm having trouble locking on. I, I just don't like where things are going with this, so... Oh my god, where'd you come from? Where'd you come from? Get out of here! You too! No. I won't have none of that. No, sir. Ow. No way, no how. Get off of my back. Sheesh. Everybody wants a piece of me. See? Stuff like that happens. And if you're fighting against significantly stronger enemies than the depraved ones, you are dead. Luckily, we're fighting against depraved ones, so even if we do get, um, you know, attacked by a big gang of them all at once like that, we still have a good de uh, good chance of surviving. We have more ticks. Let's take them out. They give you marrow stone. Oh, now that I think of it. No, no, uh, Sucker Stone, Sucker Stone and Marrow Stone. I, I can't remember the difference between the two. I think Marrow Stone makes backstabs more efficient, like they do more damage, like the backstab criticals or whatever. I can't think of what Sucker Stone does, though. I think maybe it, uh, it steals health from your enemy when you hit them or something. Something fancy to that extent, I don't know. Let's see, uh... These guys just aren't fun to fight, because usually the best, you know, the two places you can fight them is in an extremely cramped room, or you can fight them out on an extremely narrow bridge and get hit by their big sweeping attack. So either way, you're kind of screwed. But this is the uh, lesser of two evils. Anyways, we're actually reaching the end of this area very nicely. Oh, oh goodness. Oh, this place. Brings back such memories. Yeah, the first area of um, Valley Defilement, while it is pretty intimidating, and there are a lot of easy places where you can fall off the cliff, it's not that bad of an area. And I guess maybe I'm just getting a little bit lucky tonight. I'm not doing quite as bad as I usually do. Maybe I'm finally warming up to the game. But uh, anyways, next time, we'll go on ahead and fight the first boss of the Valley of Defilement, and uh, I guess that's that, so thank you for watching. I'll see you all next time.